morning everyone and welcome back to Boo's channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an oil change on a Ford Edge. Um, the only thing I've done was pop the hood, I opened the oil cap, and jacked it up in the air. That's the only thing I've done so far. So now we're going to go underneath and see what we have to do. So now we're underneath the vehicle. Um, as you can see, here's the drain plug here. Uh, that's probably more than likely gonna be a 14 millimeter. And uh, here is the oil filter right here, okay? Now, for this job, we are going to need a half inch ratchet, an extension, a claw to take the filter off, and a 14 millimeter socket, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is release my drain plug. Okay, so for the drain plug, I was wrong. It isn't 14 millimeters. It was actually 13 millimeters. So um, I went ahead and released the drain plug, loosened it up, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. So if you look here, I'm going left with my ratchet. All right, so now that that's loose, Go ahead and release the oil here. Get the pan in the right spot. So I don't make too much of a mess. That is really hot. So I'm being careful here. All right, here she comes. Hey, right. so usually you should change the gasket, but if you look here, the gasket is built into this drain plug. So I like that, that's pretty nice. Uh, you shouldn't have to switch those out unless the drain plug goes bad for any reason. All right, so now that I have my oil draining, I'm gonna go ahead and go for my filter now. All right, so I know you guys are probably wondering what was the extension for it, but as you can see here, I have it on my claw. I'm going to go after my filter with my claw here and lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Okay, so I got my filter loose enough to where I could turn it by hand, but first I'm gonna go ahead and put my drain plug back in. As you can see, it's just dripping like that, meaning everything is probably out by now. Okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put my drain plug back in. And I'm gonna torque this drain plug down to 30 foot pounds because that's what Ford wants for this. So we'll, I'll torque that in just a second here. But I wanna show you how to take the filter off to where you don't make a mess. So as you can see, it's hand loose. So now all I can do is this. And here she comes. There we go. All right. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, it takes a little bit longer, but less mess. So now that I'm letting that drip, I'm going to go ahead and tighten up my drain plug here. All right. So that's been torqued down. Make sure when you're torquing your drain plugs, you hear it click. Okay, before you stop. Don't go too far. Don't try to go extra, just the click and that's perfectly fine. And then I like to clean it up a little bit just cause customers do look underneath their car. I'm sure she will. Okay, so um, as you can see, it's a lot lighter now. So you can go ahead and twist it all the way off and it should drop right in your hand. Just like that. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put the new oil filter on and be right back with you guys. All right, so I've got my new oil filter here. Uh, there's one thing I do want to show you before we get this oil filter on. So it has a gasket right here, as you can see on the oil filter. Now that tends to get stuck on the oil filter housing, which is right up here. That tends to get stuck up there. So what you want to do is lube the gasket, okay? So what I do is I simply just dip it into the old oil um, I, you're really supposed to use new oil, um, but personally, I'm just going to use this for now. 
but you can't you're supposed to use new oil so there's your gasket lubed up okay and then I'm just gonna put it back on and when you put your oil filter back on you do not need the claw to tighten it you just do it hand tight okay <clears throat> get that nice and tight okay so I'm gonna clean that up and uh, once I drop the car I'll be right back with you guys I guess I can just tell you guys once we get the car down we put the funnel in and add your oil and then after you do that you close your oil cap start your car up and check your oil again and then you're good to go all right thanks again for stopping in at boo's channel enjoy the rest of your day